Alright, this is a little setup that I wanted to try something with. Um, I used to work with the whip mag and I wanted to try a configuration that had the magnets um, configured like on the whip mag where the two norths face together here. So you have one big north bubble here and then the two south aim together here. So you have a big south bubble here. This way when, uh, when the magnet when one magnet is in front of the coil and the coil pulses it's going to be pushing one side pulling one side and pushing the other as a, as a large bubble uh, as the magnet passes um, it should act somewhat differently uh, this is a, a rotor that I had made for another project and it has uh, a double bearing that I put together here uh, it spins really well. Um, the plexiglass rotor is a little heavier than the PVC board I was using uh, with my other rotor, but I didn't want to take that other rotor apart the way it was. I still have some stuff I want to do with that. But I wanted to try this, and uh, it works. Um, let me see. We're going to turn it on. You can see the reed switch. If I cover up the light, you can see the reed switch firing up. Um, just got the batteries, simple reed switch set up, my reed polarizing magnet here, just a little cap here, and on and off switch in the coil that I've been using. Um, just want to try some different things and uh, see what actually you know, uh, works best. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work adding a charging coil or how much back EMF I'm getting you know, off of this coil compared to uh, another one or even charging. I don't even have a diode on this one. I just wanted to see if it would work and it seems to be good. Um, it's not as fast as my other rotor but this one just has 10 magnets on it. Uh, it's just quarter inch plexi. Um, the magnets are sixteenth of an inch or eighth of an inch thick, uh, diametric discs, um, like I used on my other rotor. This is just a little plastic platform with some rubber feet on it, so I can move it around. Um, but she runs pretty nice. Uh, she doesn't pick up as much speed, like I said, as my other rotor, because the other rotor is lighter, just the weight of the magnets. Plus these magnets are spaced further apart, where on the other one I have 16 magnets, so they'd be a little closer together. I think I'd get a, quite a bit more speed and more pulses per rotation. Um, but just had an idea to try it out, and it works. Uh, no reason why it shouldn't, but uh, it could be another angle. Uh, give some variation to how these things are made to maybe uh, improve upon them. Uh, got a little bit of torque there. Slow it down. But uh, I just wanted to show this, how it was. And uh, just show you here, I got the... Uh, let's slow it, let's bring it to a stop. Um, if I just spin it a little bit and then turn it on, she picks up, starts going in that direction. And then I take this polarizing magnet and turn it the other way, she's going to want to go the other way. Um, and what that does is just makes it so the reed, when it gets into this bubble here, not this one or this one, is when the reed is activated and will only react on every other magnet as it comes by. Uh, this allows you to alter the magnets uh, other than just a single pull outwards and reacting on each one. Um, where, the, where the coil pushes and pulls on a magnet, I think you get a little bit more uh, force on the wheel from the coil uh, than just pushing on one pole and waiting for the next one to come over and did just pushing on one pole there also. But uh, should go in either direction. I'm not sure if uh, I think I could actually time it a little better if I play with this because uh, a little bit of timing for each direction makes a bit of difference. Let's see if I can...
That seems to be picking up a little bit better now. Let's see. I'm using the camera to see here. I just thought it was a, a neat variation to uh, try. Uh, I'll try it with uh, my other coils. I have uh, the big coils I'm going to run. I got uh, these are one ohm coils compared to this. This is seven ohms. Um, I got some big reeds coming in that I ordered on eBay. And uh, I believe it, the amperage wasn't rated, but I believe compared size um, and everything compared to some others I've seen, uh, they'll be like three amps or higher, which I'll be able to run this this here coil. Uh, the little 0.5 amp reeds I was using before would just just wouldn't last an evening. Um, this one here is a one amp. Uh, read, which is not really giving me much trouble here with this uh, 7 ohm coil. Uh, but anybody's welcome to try it if they want to. It's a whip mag style magnet uh, set up on the rotor. There's 10 of them on there. Like I said, on my other rotor, the white one I've been using lately, magnets are a lot closer together. There's 16 of them, and it's a little smaller diameter, so this one's not quite as quick as uh, that other one. If I put 12 volts on this and I had a reed that could handle it, it would really spin up fast. Um, but I just wanted to show that, and uh, I'll make some new vids if I find anything uh, worthwhile out of this. Thanks.